In this video, we will discuss the structure and working characteristics of a 10 gigabit per second DFB laser transmitter. So let's get started. This figure shows the structure of a DFB laser with modulator. The DFB laser is a varied structure that has a PN block laser. The active layer is a five-layer multiple quantum well structure where well layers are indium gallium arsenide and the barrier layers are indium gallium arsenic phosphide. The modulator region has a high Mazar ridge structure where indium gallium arsenic phosphide bulk with band gap wavelength of 1.48 micrometer is used for the absorption layer. The front end surface of the modulator is treated with anti-reflection coating. The optical coupling between the DFB laser and the modulator is based on the butt joint method. This laser has a laser region length of 350 micron and the modulator region length is 200 micron. They are separated by a 30 micron long electrode separation region. The driver IC drives the modulator at 10 gigabit per second with an output amplitude of 2 volt peak to peak. The driver IC's output waveform is closed rectangular. This figure shows the eye diagram of the output waveform of the driver IC at 10 gigabit per second operation. The test input signals have amplitude of 0.8 volt peak to peak. The output amplitude is 2.7 volt peak to peak. For small signal frequency characteristics, the gain was 15 dB and the negative 3 dB bandwidth is 9.5 GHz. This figure shows the top view structure of the optical transmitter module. This module encloses a DFB laser with modulator, the driver IC, a photodiode for power monitoring, a thermistor, a thermoelectric cooler to stabilize internal temperature, a terminating resistor, an optical coupling lens, and an optical isolator. This figure shows the small signal frequency response characteristics and return loss values. The negative 3 dB bandwidth is 9 GHz and the return loss is 15 dB or more up to 12 GHz. On a 10 gigabit per second transmission experiment using the module, the input electric signals were 10 gigabit per second NRZ pseudo-random signals. The output from the module was amplified by an EDFA and then was input to an optical fiber line. The link length was 80 km using 1.55 micron dispersion shifted fiber. The far end receiver converted the optical input signals to electric signals. These electric signals were passed through a timing extraction circuit and then were passed to a decision circuit. This figure shows the eye diagram before and after transmission. The second figure shows the resulting bit error rate BER, BER, characteristics versus incoming signal level at the receiver. For a BER of 1 times 10 to the negative 9, the received signal level was negative 30.7 dBm. There was no power penalty required and no error rate flaw was evident even after transmission.